Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today is my third and final installment of my back to school beauty series. So for today, I thought I would do something that a lot of you have coming up pretty soon, and that is school picture day. I know that for some that's like a super anxiety inducing time where you feel like you have to look perfect, but um, I compiled some tips and some tricks as well as a really simple makeup look to hopefully get you through that stressful day, um, but I wanted to jump right into it. So for the first tip, keep it simple. That is something that I think is not talked about enough with school pictures. I think that you know, some people try and go all out, they try and get super dressed up, you know, make sure their hair and their makeup is really crazy and looks great and, you know, they try and look like their most beautiful that they've ever looked. But I think for school pictures, you know, it's really just supposed to represent who you are and in the real, in the reality of things, it's not that big of a deal. I know sometimes it feels like the end of the world if you take a bad school picture, but Honestly, by the next year, you'll probably forget all about it. And if nothing else, it's just a funny story to look at and tell later down the road. Um, so my first tip is to keep it simple. My second tip is to keep it matte. In this look that I have on right now, everything is matte from the face products I use to the eyeshadows that I use. I really think that the more shimmer and highlight that you have on your face for school picture day is just more things that are going to pick up on the light and potentially make your face look oily or shiny, which for a picture isn't exactly the look that you might want to be going for. Um, while the highlighted look is really popular right now, and it's definitely not a bad look, I just think for the purposes of a school picture, you'd be happier to make sure that your face is more matte and more even, I guess, just because, you know, there's no guarantee that the light is going to pick up on your face the way that you're hoping and that you're expecting to. So uh, tip number two is to keep it matte, but not flat. Matte, but not flat. And tip number three is to accentuate the areas of your face that you really like, but don't cover up those any areas that you may not like. You know, nobody likes to have kind of imperfect skin for their pictures, but your school picture, you know, you are who you are. And I really think that you know, for me personally, something that I like about my face is I like my eyes. So all the eye looks that I do or the looks that I've done for picture days in the past have been just really focused on my eyes so that that's what the attention is drawn to rather than maybe other areas of my face that I'm not as comfortable with. So pick that one area on your face that you really enjoy and make sure that you accentuate it because that's something that everybody else I'm sure loves just as much as you do. And if they don't, you know what? Haters gonna hate. You're beautiful the way you are. Um, so that's my third tip is to accentuate, accentuate your features and not try to cover them up. And the fourth one, this isn't really a tip, it's just kind of a, it's a life tip more than anything. For a school picture, you know, this is something that your parents and your family are gonna look back on, even after you probably don't care about it anymore. You know, they, they look back on it and that's something for them to cherish. So keep that in mind when you are taking your picture, you know, as cool as it might be to just pack on that eyeliner and you know, I, whatever else you wanna do. That's totally cool, day-to-day -day basis, but is it really that cool, you know, to send to your grandmother and have her kind of freak out? Maybe not. Maybe I'm sounding like I'm like 40 years old when I'm saying this instead of 22, but uh, what can you do? I don't know. Um, so, you know, for this look, I hope that you like it. Um, like I said, I'm just keeping it really simple, really toned down, really just accentuating certain things. Um, and if you want to see how I do this makeup look, please keep watching. So to start out this look, I already primed my face and my eyelids using Benefits, the Professional, and the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. Um, this is the anti-aging formula, but any eyeshadow primer or concealer will work. But I put that all over my face and my eyes and kind of let it set for a couple of minutes just so that we're totally ready to start doing the rest of the makeup. So I'm going to start out, um, I would pick a foundation that is probably higher coverage than normal. Um, something really important to remember, I'm usually all about SPF and trying to get as much protection for your skin as possible, but on picture day, you don't want to use anything with SPF. It will reflect in the camera's flash whenever it takes the picture and make you look shiny. It might make your skin look a little uneven, so 
for one day forego the SPF. Um, today I'm using a foundation that is a little lighter than my normal skin tone. This is just Urban Decay's Naked Skin. It's the one that I go to a lot and I will be blending this and my concealer in with my beauty blender. So once that is totally blended in, I'm not going to go overboard with the concealer, but there are a couple of places that I wanted to cover up a little bit, as well as just a little bit under the eyes. The goal is to keep the makeup pretty simple, um, but I just wanted to brighten up that area a tiny bit. When we'll be lovers, lovers at last. You gotta spend some time, love. You gotta spend some now I'm going to finish this face look off for now with a layer of powder. Uh, make sure that you're patting the powder on and not rubbing it. That will just kind of undo all the work that we just did. So um, I'm just taking a big fluffy brush and gently patting the powder, especially concentrating it on the areas that we did put concealer on. Okay, so the next step is brows. So I'm gonna start by combing out my brows. Sorry if you can hear my dog barking in the background. She's a really impossible dog to film with, for whatever reason. Um, I'm using the Anastasia Brow Pomade. This is just my everyday brow look. Um, and just defining them, again, not going overboard, not going super crazy, but this is what I would just do every single day. my brows are done I'm going to go in with eyeshadow today I'm sticking to all matte colors I all the eyeshadows that I'm using today are from the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette once again it's not required that you get this palette although I do recommend it this is one of my favorites of all time um, but I'm going to be using all matte eyeshadows for this look so I'm gonna start out just using a, an eyeshadow that's basically skin colored, a nude shadow to just start the look off with a nice base. I'm then going to go in with a color that's maybe about a shade and a half darker. Again, not going too dark, but just something to put kind of on the outer half of our lids to give a little bit of extra definition. I'm going to be taking a pencil brush or an angle brush, anything with kind of a nice tip on it. And for me, since I have blue eyes, I'm going to be focusing on all these looks are kind of brown based just because that's on the opposite side of the color spectrum as my eye color. Um, if you have brown eyes, I would go towards more purples, that kind of spectrum. If you have green eyes, again, you can kind of use browns, taupes, that kind of stuff. Um, just really pick colors that are going to make your eyes pop. I think that that's really important for any kind of a school picture. So I'm going to go in. This is a darker brown color. I'm going to very gently kind of line, not, not like eyeliner, but sort of a, a messy eyeliner look, mainly focused again on the outer half of my eye. And this is going to be on my upper and lower lash line that I'm doing this. Right, once you've got that done, I'm going to go in with a giant fluffy blending brush and take a color, a really nice light color, even the same nude color that you used before and just kind of clean up the edges, especially along the bottom. Um, you want it to kind of be a little bit smudgy and messy, but nothing, you know, not like a smoky eye or anything like that. You still want it to be very daytime appropriate. So I'm just gonna go and clean up the outer edges and blend them just a tiny bit more. Then the next step, I'm going to curl my lashes. This will make them super nice and standing out 
gonna make them wow, wow lashes. So make sure that you are very gentle. Don't grab your eyelid when you're doing this. And then I'm going to go in with a nice coat of mascara. And when we're doing our mascara, make sure that you're getting the wand as close to your lash line as possible, especially because we didn't do eyeliner in this look. That will make your lash line look a lot darker and a lot more defined, as well as make you look like your lashes are much more voluminous. Um, that's just a little trick. If you wiggle the wand back and forth, uh, gently, obviously you don't want to poke yourself in the eye, but on the top and the bottom, it helps you look like your lashes are thicker and like you're wearing eyeliner even if you're not. Okay, so now the eyes are done. You can see they look a lot more open. If you wear eyeliner on a daily basis, I usually do, but just for school pictures like that, sometimes, especially with a bright flash that already might make you squint or make your eyes close a little bit more. If you're wearing eyeliner, it might make them that much more pronounced where you have trouble seeing your beautiful eyes and um, nobody wants that. We all want to see your eyes look nice and beautiful and open and awake. So um, that's why I chose to go with this eye look. I'm going to finish it off with a blush. This is to make it look like your skin is very colored, kind of from the inside out, glowing from the inside out, whatever you want to call it. Um, just to make sure that you don't look washed out in front of the camera today. So I'm using a cream blush. I think that because the rest of my look is matte, that will give my skin a little bit extra kind of oomph to make it not look like it's totally flat. Um, so this color is orange. I think I talked about this in a favorites video. I love this stuff, but I definitely recommend a cream blush or something of that sort. So I'm going to go ahead. The trick to a cream blush is to kind of dab it on the apples and then kind of rub it outwards and it looks super bright when you first put it on just because your skin warms up to the touch and it kind of spreads. It looks like really red and like right now it looks kind of crazy but um, if you just give it a second to kind of settle into your face then it looks better. So we'll give that a minute to set in. Um, while you're waiting, you can put on some setting spray. I definitely recommend this, especially on picture day. Once again, because you don't know what time of day that you're taking the picture. It could be in the morning when you first get to school, but it might not be till the afternoon and you definitely don't want your makeup to go flat by then. So I definitely would go with a setting spray. So another thing I would definitely recommend if you're prone to oily skin like me is bringing along the little package of shine sheets just so that right before your picture you can kind of go over your face. That helps uh, your makeup look a little bit nicer, makes your skin look a little bit nicer, and will give you that confidence for a great school picture. So for my hair for this look, I'm just going to keep it super simple. Like I said, as much as I love to experiment and try new looks, I really think that picture day is a great day to kind of keep it simple and stick to what you know looks good. So I think for all of my pictures all throughout high school, I just left my hair down rather than messing with it because you never know. It might look really cool in person and really cool from the back or the side, but more often than not, your picture is going to be straightforward. So if you have your hair slicked back, it may not be the best look for a picture. So I think it's best to kind of just stick with having your hair down, you know, if you curl it or straighten it, that's great. Or if you just leave it natural, um, your picture is really supposed to be just kind of a, a moment in time of who you are at that moment. And so, um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Hopefully these tips were helpful. Um, please let me know in the comments below if you have any other requests for back to school videos. This was planned to be my last one in my set of three, but if you have any other ideas, you know, I would love to make more videos around this topic. Um, I do have some fall themed videos coming your way pretty soon, but if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hopefully give it a share, and make sure that you subscribe to my channel so that you can see all of the new videos that I'm putting out soon. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Bye!